Welcome to the explanatory video for using the National Test Abhyas app. To begin with, visit the Google Play Store on your device and search for the National Test Abhyas app. You will see the National Test Abhyas app as shown in this screenshot. Click Install to begin downloading and installation of the app on your device. Once downloaded, click on National Test Abhyas app icon to start the app. Here, you can sign up with your mobile number or your email address. You will need to add your password and confirm it. Or, if you have already registered, you can directly log in. Now, in this section of the app, you can select the type of test you wish to attempt. You can see it under Full Tests. Currently, we have an engineering and medical examination for you. One of the key differences between taking a test on the web versus the app is that in the app, you will have an option to download the test before attempting it. This will enable you to attempt every test without being connected to the internet. You will need to be connected to the internet before pressing the start button. After this, a message to turn on airplane mode will appear. Once you have done this, you will be taken to the instructions page for the test. Here, you will see two types of instructions. The first type will be a do's and don'ts list for the test. Read them carefully before the test and follow them for a seamless experience. The second type will be general test taking instructions, including the duration of the test, number of questions, subjects attempted, and even the marking scheme. Once you click on I am ready to begin, you will land on this screen. The National Test Abhyas app screen has been designed to replicate the similar interface for competitive examination. Here we have the JEE main test available for you. On the top of the screen, you can navigate between subjects by clicking on the subject names, physics and mathematics on the left hand side. You can navigate between any question by clicking on the question number icon under question overview. As you keep attempting the test, the question overview screen will also tell you how you attempted the selected subject in the following manner. The green icon means the question has been attempted and saved. The red icon means the question has not been attempted. The purple icon without the tick mark means this question has not been attempted but marked for reviewing later. The purple icon with the tick mark means that this question has been attempted but marked for reviewing later. This makes it very easy to revisit questions, to attempt and revise towards the end of the exam. Once you are done attempting the test and have revisited all your answers, you can press the submit button. On pressing the submit button, you will see a summary of your attempts and time remaining. In case you are submitting the test before time, you may want to reconsider and resume the test, in which case you can press resume. If you are sure you want to submit, press submit again. Now to view your test feedback, you need to go back online. Switch off your airplane mode and switch on your Wi-Fi. Congratulations! Your test has been synced successfully. Clicking on View Feedback will direct you to this screen. Once you've submitted the test, you will see the summary report. It will also give you your subject-wise performance with attempted, not attempted, not viewed and to be reviewed question count. Thank you for watching and all the best!